Now, let me discuss about the phase 0 of the cardiac action potential. Right, let me discuss about the phase 0 of the cardiac action potential. Now, if you take this particular phase 0, remember phase 0 is the rapid depolarization phase. Right, it is the rapid depolarization phase. Okay, so that is what is your phase 0. Now, the other point is, if you take the slope of phase 0, the slope of the phase 0 represents the maximum rate of depolarization of the cell and that is known as the Vmax. Okay, so if you take the slope of the phase 0, that represents maximum rate of depolarization. Right, that represents the maximum rate of the depolarization of the cell. And this is what is called as Vmax. Right, this is what is called as Vmax, that is velocity maximum. Now, the other point is, you take this phase. Now, why is this phase due to? A point what you should remember is, this phase, that is this phase 0, is due to the opening of the fast sodium channels. Now, so before going into the opening of the fast sodium channels, you need to know that this particular sodium channels, okay, so a point what you should remember is, the Vmax is due to the opening of the sodium channels. Now, this particular sodium channels, they exist in three forms. Right, this sodium channels, they exist in three forms. One, they are called as open sodium channels. Next, the other one, they are inactivated sodium channels. Right, inactivated sodium channels. And the third type is the closed sodium channels. So these are the three types of the sodium channels. Now, now let me tell you why is this phase due to. Remember, this phase is due to the opening of the fast sodium channels. Okay, so this particular phase zero is due to opening of the fast sodium channels. Now, once this particular fast sodium channels open, what will happen is a large quantity of the sodium will enter into the cell, right? So, this will cause rapid influx of the sodium, right? This will cause the rapid influx of the sodium. And what is your sodium now? The sodium is a positive ion, it's a cation. So, a positive charge when it is entering into the cell in large quantities rapidly, that is why it will cause the maximum rate of depolarization right and that is why it is called as Vmax right that is why it is called as Vmax now now let me discuss the concept of open inactivated and as well as the closed sodium channels now for example you take a cell when cell is stimulated the sodium channels they open and they result in the inward movement of the sodium these channels then enter into an inactivated state Right? So, what do you have here first? Initially, the fast sodium channels. Right? Initially, what you have is the fast sodium channels. Now, through this particular fast sodium channels, once the potential or once the depolarization occurs, the fast sodium channels open, there is rapid influx of the sodium and followed by that, this open state of the sodium channels, they enter in an inactivated state. Right, they enter into an inactivated state. Okay, so they enter into an inactivated state. Now, in this particular inactivated state, so these channels then enter in an inactivated state from which these cannot be stimulated. So, what do you understand by the word inactivated state? These cannot be stimulated.
right these cannot be stimulated okay so remember this point now now later on what happens next slowly the sodium channels they recover from this inactivated state and they enter into the closed state okay so what is the importance of your inactivated state when the sodium channels are in the inactivated state in spite of giving adequate stimulus to the cell they will not get stimulated later on the sodium channels from the inactivated state they enter into the closed state right they enter into the closed state now in this stage the channels can open on arrival of a sufficiently strong stimulus okay so in the closed state right in the closed state the channels they can open whenever this particular channels receive sufficiently strong stimulus right when the sodium channels in the closed state when they receive sufficiently strong stimulus they will open this particular sodium channels now you take here the ability of the cell all right the ability of the cell to open the fast sodium channels right to open the fast sodium channels during phase 0 is related to the membrane potential at that point of excitation i'll repeat again the ability of the cell to open the fast sodium channels during phase 0 is related to the membrane potential at the moment of excitation right at the moment of excitation so what i am trying to tell you here is what is the resting membrane potential of the cell during the time of excitation so the resting membrane potential of the cell will decide how much depolarization can occur within the cell all right now now for example let me tell you a point here if the membrane potential is at its baseline right for example if the resting membrane potential right if the resting membrane potential of the cell is at is at its baseline that is around minus 85 millivolts right that is around minus 85 millivolts so if the membrane potential is at its baseline all the fast sodium channels they are closed right all the fast sodium channels they are in a closed state and at this point whenever you give an adequate stimulus and that adequate stimulus will excite the cell and will open all of this particular the fast sodium channels and causing a large influx of the sodium ions right so let me tell you the concept here very clearly what i am trying to tell you here is the opening of the fast sodium channels whenever the stimulus comes to the cell it depends upon the resting membrane potential of the cell at the point when the excitation comes if the resting membrane potential is at its baseline that is around minus 85 millivolts all the at this point all fast sodium channels they are in a closed state right and whenever they are excited right all these fast sodium channels whichever are in a closed state whenever they are excited they will open all these particular sodium channels and there will be large influx of right there will be large influx of the sodium ions next let me tell you the 
next important point i have said you about what is called as vmax now what is happening here there is large influx of the sodium ions whenever all the fast sodium channels whichever are in closed state whenever they are opened by adequate stimulus now a point what you should remember here is however right however the membrane potential if it is less negative if at all if the membrane potential is at minus 85 whenever you give adequate stimulus all the sodium channels will open right and there is large influx of the sodium ions and there is vmax now if at all right for example if at all if the membrane potential right if the resting membrane potential if it is less negative right if the resting membrane potential if it is less negative that means instead of minus 85 millivolts if the resting membrane potential for example if it is like minus 70 or minus 60 or minus 50 that means what the difference between the intracellular and as well as the extracellular gradient is less if the if the membrane potential is minus 85 that means the gradient across the cell is very high you give a stimulus then all the sodium channels will open if at all if the resting membrane potential is less negative that means instead of minus 85 if the resting membrane potential is like minus 60 or if the resting membrane potential is minus 50 that means what the gradient across the cell that is in between the intracellular and extracellular compartment the gradient is less now if the membrane potential is less negative some of the fast sodium channels will be in the inactivated state that means they are resistant to opening thus causing a lesser response to excitation of the cell membrane and that will result in what is called as lower vmax so what i want to tell you here is if the resting membrane potential if it is less negative some of the fast sodium channels right some of the fast sodium channels they will be in the inactivated state right they will be in the inactivated state that is they are resistant to opening that is they are resistant to opening so some of the fast sodium channels they are in the inactivated state they are resistant to opening thus causing a lesser response to excitation right thus causing lesser response to the excitation of the cell membrane and thereby what will happen there is lower vmax right thereby what will happen is there is lower vmax okay now for this reason right for this reason if the resting membrane potential becomes too positive the cell may not be excitable and conduction through the heart may be delayed so if the resting membrane potential is more negative then it means that the gradient across the cell is more you give an adequate stimulus then all the fast sodium channels will open and there is large influx of the sodium and there is a vmax right there is a rapid depolarization but instead of that if the resting membrane potential is less negative or if the resting membrane potential becomes too positive then the cell may not be excitable and conduction through the heart may be delayed right now this increases the risk of arrhythmias right this increases the risk of arrhythmias so what i want to tell you here is if resting membrane potential 
if it is less negative or if it is too positive then the conduction is delayed right then the conduction is delayed right and once the conduction is delayed this increases the risk of arrhythmias Right, this increases the risk of arrhythmias. Okay, so that is about the discussion about the phase zero. Right, so let me shortly revise about the phase zero. Remember, phase zero is your rapid depolarization phase. The slope of phase zero represents the maximum rate of depolarization of the cell, and that is known as Vmax. Right, that is known as the Vmax, and this particular phase is due to opening of the fast sodium channels causing the rapid influx of the sodium ions. Now these sodium channels they exist in three forms. One is open that is open state of the sodium channels, inactivated state and as well as the closed state. Now once the cell is stimulated right once the cell is stimulated the sodium channels open and they result in inward movement of the sodium for a brief period. Later on, these channels, they enter into the inactivated state from which these cannot be stimulated, however, might be the stimulus. Now, slowly, the sodium channels recover from the inactivated state and enter into the closed state. In this stage, the channels can open on the arrival of a sufficiently strong stimulus. All right, next. The point is, the ability of the cell to open the fast sodium channels during phase 0 is related to the membrane potential at that moment of excitation. That is, if the membrane potential is at its baseline, that is about minus 85 millivolts, all the fast sodium channels are in a closed state and excitation will open all of them and that causes a large influx of the sodium ions. However, if the membrane potential is less negative, some of the fast sodium channels will be in the inactivated state, thus causing a lesser response to the excitation of the cell membrane and that will result in what is called as the lower Vmax. Now, for this reason, if the resting membrane potential becomes too positive, or if it is less negative, the cell may not be excitable and the conduction through the heart may be delayed. This increases the risk of arrhythmias.